Hi everyone. Today we're going to run through five steps to create a custom landscape for use in Stellarium. I'm using an iPhone and a free app called 360 Panorama. However, you could use a DSLR and stitch individual images together with software you can easily find available online. I'll post a list of the options in the description below, but in my opinion, this is by far the easiest method. Here you can see I'm using the dome to rotate the camera through 360 degrees. However, the same results are easily achievable manually. Once this is complete, you should have something that looks like this. Once we've created the panoramic image, we need to send it to a computer and begin processing it. So on to step two, scale the image and remove the sky. I'm using Photoshop, but you could use GIMP or any of the other image editing software available online. The first step is to modify the width of the image to 2048 pixels. Go ahead and click OK. Next we need to go to Edit, Canvas Size and ensuring the relative position is central to keep the horizon in the middle, we need to increase the canvas height to 1024 pixels. Ensuring our background is transparent, we can then move on to backfilling below our image and then focusing on deleting the sky. By, sim by simply drawing a box with 100% infill, we can fill the transparency space below our image. Don't worry about going outside the canvas here as the image size is bound by the canvas. The image is still 2048 pixels by 1024. The next step is probably the most time consuming part of the process and that is to remove the sky from the image to ensure we can see all the stars on Stellarium. By selecting the magic wand tool, with point sample and tolerance of 20, we can start to shift select the sky in our image and then delete. Take your time with this part, zoom in and ensure we select and delete all the sky between branches, around rooftops, and any bits that manage to escape our initial attempt. Once that's done, we're in a good position to go ahead and save the file temporarily to our desktop. We're going to name the image Landscape and change the file type to PNG. When that section is complete, we're ready to move on to step three, create landscape.ini. For this, we need to locate Stellarium's landscapes folder, which is usually program files, Stellarium, landscapes. We're going to create a folder and name that custom, and then we're going to create a text file in notepad containing the following information. A copy of this text can be found in the description below. You'll need to edit this with your own location, elevation, etc. Once you've done that, we're going to save to desktop as landscape.ini. At this point, we're going to copy the files from the desktop and paste them into the custom folder we created earlier. And we're ready for step four, set up Stellarium. Now this couldn't be more simple. Once Stellarium is open, go to the bar on the left. We're going to open Sky and Viewing Options. 
and select landscapes from the tabs along the top. Now we can select our custom landscape on the left and down here tick the box to set as default. As you can see we now have our skyline with the stars above. At this point we're nearly finished and all that remains is to adjust the angle within the I and I file to make sure north in our image is aligned with north in Stellarium. This may well take a little bit of trial and error to get right. In the I and I file, try values between 0 and 350. Until you have north aligned in Stellarium. The benefits of this are massive. Being able to plan a session knowing exactly what time Jupiter will rise behind a neighbour's house or how long an object will be visible will enable you to make the most of the clear nights ahead. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and join us on Facebook.